Song of Songs 412. Gan na ul achoti chala, gal na ul mayan chatum. So we begin here with gan, a garden, pretty common word there. And uh, I just noticed, I put this on here, the Septuagint, don't get confused. This is still Daily Dose of Hebrew. So we have a, a garden here. And it's not just any garden. We're going to use this here in a moment, by the way. Uh, it is a garden that is locked. The verb here is nun ayin lamid, to be locked. And then we have here a passive participle. So if you notice the shurik of the passive participle, also notice the parallelism. We're going to see this same word occur here in the next line. So a garden having been locked, this is a verbless clause, so we would say is my sister bride. And again, very often we've seen this in the last several videos, this bride still takes on this pronoun, my bride. And then next, this is why we have the Septuagint added in here. We have the word gal, which uh, various lexica take it differently. You've got something like a wave, heap of stones, spring, something like that. And I think that these can all be related in some way. A, a spring might have stones around it as it's flowing out. Waves as the spring is flowing could be an option here. But uh, springs is is generally the idea, but that gets a little tricky because notice that the Septuagint here has kepas in both places, a garden in both places. Other Hebrew manuscripts have gone repeated in good parallel fashion. But one thing I want to point out to you is Mitchell, Christopher Mitchell in his commentary in the Concordia series, draws attention to Nehemiah 3.15, which references the gate of the fountain. It references it being uh, bolted, and it is a wall that goes around the king's garden. And so there's a lot of parallels there. I'd encourage you to look at that if you're interested, that I think give us a good reason to, to read Gal here as the more difficult reading and go with something like a, a spring locked. So a garden locked, a spring locked. And then we get uh, another word for spring, we might say something like fountain here to just give it variety, or uh, headwaters, source waters, uh, sealed. Here the root is het tav mem, and so sealed. And we have again here another passive participle with that shurik uh, as the thematic vowel. So of spring sealed.